Hi everybody, my name is TJ Wolf and I do Linux and hardware videos and thank you for watching and today I just want to do a follow up video of Don't Call Me Lenny's video um I watched his video and it was awesome great job <clears throat> Lenny on this video and everything thank you for letting me know the new Manjaro <clears throat> um release um but he wanted to know how you get the uh steam working in wine with the uh, uh black screen and I guess that's a common issue with the new updates of wine or something but anyway <clears throat> I have a fix for you, so let's jump right into it. Okay, I installed it in VirtualBox just for this video. Not on real hardware, but it will work on real hardware because I've tested this method in Ubuntu and 16.4 Unity and it works. And so let's go to it. So once you're logged into your Manjaro, let me make this bigger. I make this bigger. Yeah, here we go. So once you're logged in, um, what you want to do is open up, pl install Play on Linux from the PAMAC manager right here. If you don't already have it, uh, the latest revert version is 4.2.10, so that's the latest, so... Once you have that, open up, it will be in your games category, so once you open it up, and once it loads, I am in a virtual box, here we go. So once it loads, what you want to do is go to the tools tab on the top. And go to manage wine versions. And then what you want to do is go to your um, um, operating system bit. If you're running 32 bit or 64. And I'm running 64 bit. So what you want to do is. You want to install. Um, okay, it wouldn't be in this list because I already have it installed. What you want to install is the 2.0 staging wine, and this only works for, I only tested this on 2.0 staging. Uh, it doesn't work for 2.3. As you can see, I tried it. And it does not work. And I'm not sure. You might have to go down the list. To see which wine versions it works. But I guess the newer. Some wine versions. I guess it, it's broken. It doesn't work. Um, I'm not actually sure. Why they break it. When they update. The wine versions. But in 2.0 staging. This works. And. For some reason, I thought there was a 3.0 staging out. I could be wrong, though. But, I'll have to look into that. So, anyway, once you have 2.0 staging installed, and it's shown up here, what you want to do is close this out, and then you want to go hit this configure button here with the gear... 
and then you want to go to hit new and this is going to bring up another window like this and then you want to hit next and then you want to hit 64 bit and then you can see your staging wine virgin 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 I can't say that right now sorry and then you want to hit um your 2.0 staging wine release and then you're gonna hit next and then it's gonna install I already did it so I'm gonna hit cancel and then what you want to do is once you have that wine installed you want to come up here To install co components and you want to go down the list and you want to install steam into it so you're gonna install steam and it's gonna do it like you did before and it's gonna install that Microsoft core fonts and everything for you and it's going to ask you, probably going to have to hit twice on the install for the core fonts for some reason. It fails the first time, but the second time it goes through, which I'm not sure why that happens. But once that's done and you have Steam installed and you update Steam, uh, once you have it installed actually after then what you want to do is go back into general and you're going to want to hit make new shortcut and it's going to find it's going to scan your virtual box should scan I'm not sure why it's taking so long hmm. here we go I'm not sure why it took so long and it's you're gonna see your um, steam icon it's gonna say steam x of course I already have it I already made a shortcut so it's not gonna show up in here so then after you make a shortcut you're gonna have to wait a little bit until it's done once you see once it's done and you see it on your desktop here and this goes back you see this window back up and everything's completed you want to hit cancel because you don't want to make another shortcut and so you're gonna hit cancel then after that's finished I think I lost the page um, want to go to <clears throat> I'll leave this link in the subscriptions you want to go to this page right here and I'll show you now that it doesn't work so you can see that it doesn't work right now
and you can see it doesn't work right now so as normal as you guys get it doesn't work so what you guys want to do is close that and then what you want to do is copy this command right here dash no dash cef dash sandbox so I'm just gonna copy that right there and then paste it into the arguments field and then all you're gonna do is close it it's in there so now what you're gonna do is open up the steam version the steam icon and there we go we have the star and everything in here on steam So you can see the Steam Store is working properly. Let's search for a game. So let's search for this tool, Brain Bread 2. So we have that Steam, so that's the Steam store that works. Um, I'm trying to find... So, <clears throat> that works and everything. Um, we can refresh um, Store Home. <sighs> so, you can see it's working. I hope this helps everybody if you have any problems just pm me or leave a comment below on my youtube channel please leave a big thumbs up if you guys like this video and thank you guys for watching stay tuned for my next video i'm coming up with a big surprise for you all so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next video bye now